this with a sharp knife. Uh, I find it's a lot easier to do it with a pipe cutter. So you want to very carefully bite into the jacket a little at a time so you don't score the inner fiberglass rod. If you have to, you can go in with a sharp knife and gradually, very gradually, cut into that jacket. You want to avoid crushing or twisting the rod when you do this. And very gently move that jacket off. Next, you want to roughen the outer surface of the core rod with the sandpaper that's provided with the repair kit. Once you're done sanding it, you want to clean it. Very important to clean it and get all that loose debris off. You can use an alcohol swab or any type of solvent, acetone, mineral spirits, anything that's, that'll clean and then evaporate. Okay, you want to prepare the adhesive for applying it on the ferrule. This is a two-part epoxy. It has to be mixed completely and thoroughly. You should only use this once. This is only good for one splice or one end ferrule attachment. Apply the adhesive to the rod. liberally. Depending on if you're splicing or attaching a new end ferrule, they go on the same way. I'm going to demonstrate the splice ferrule. I'm going to make sure that you've got even coating all along the inside there. And fully insert the splice ferrule over the jacket of the rod. If you're performing a splice, prepare the rod the same way you did the first end with the other end. Apply your adhesive. Install. You want to have both your rod ends prepared before you mix the adhesive. It has a very short working life, so you want to make sure you get them both prepared. When you're finished, you should allow the adhesive to cure for a complete 24 hours. That will ensure you've got the, the bond strength required.